Hello friends, welcome to my channel Avin Tricks. This is Avin. This is the seventh video and this is continuation of methods of preparation of Hello Arenes. In this video, we are going to learn two named the reactions. The first one is Rasik's process and second one is Hans Dicer's reaction for the preparation of Hello Arenes. Here we go. Rasik's process. In this process, benzene is heated with benzene is heated with concentrated HCl in presence of cuprous oxide at 250 degrees Celsius. Oxygen atom is generated that is half O2 means oxygen atom, we get chlorobenzene and water. What is Resix process? When benzene is heated with HCl in presence of cuprous oxide with half mole of oxygen, we get chlorobenzene and water. Let us see the mechanism of this reaction. Mechanism. We know that the formula of benzene is C6H6 means each carbon atom is bonded with one hydrogen atom. I have shown here one carbon with one hydrogen atom and half molecule of O2 means what half molecule of O2 means one oxygen atom and we know that the atomic number of oxygen is 8 and its electronic configuration is 2, 6. It requires two electrons to complete its octet so this oxygen atom it withdraws the electron from this benzene. So, when benzene loses this hydrogen atom along with the two electrons that is bonded electron, benzene becomes cation. And we have OH minus that is oxygen has taken the hydrogen from benzene. Now in the second step HCl comes in the picture. Here we know that chlorine is negatively charged and hydrogen is positive part of the reagent. Now this chlorine will attack the positive center of benzene and we get here chlorobenzene. We get here chlorobenzene and what happens to this H plus? This H plus will combine with OH minus and it gives water. So this is the mechanism of Rasik's process. Once again I repeat benzene it reacts with oxygen atom. Oxygen atom it takes the bonded electrons and hydrogen from the benzene and benzene remains as a cation and OH minus is produced when this benzene cation it reacts with HCl the negative part of the reagent it attacks on the positive center and we get chlorobenzene and this H plus will combine with OH minus and we get water. This is Rasik's process. I hope this is clear. Now we will go for the next method of preparation that is Hans Dyser's reaction of preparation of halo arenes. Here we go. Hans Dyser's reaction. Its statement is when silver salt of aromatic acid is heated with bromine in xylene solvent we get bromobenzene. I repeat the statement when silver salt of aromatic acids heated with bromine in xylene solvent we get aryl bromides that is bromobenzene. Now 
let us see the reaction first then we will go for full mechanism now let us see the reaction silver salt of aromatic acid means we will take benzoic acid benzoic acid means benzene with cooh group when h atom of benzoic acid is replaced by silver we get silver salt of benzoic acid when this silver salt of benzoic acid is heated with bromine is heated with bromine in presence of xylene solvent in presence of xylene solvent we get bromobenzene plus carbon dioxide and silver bromide AgBr this is Hans Dyser's reaction. Now we will see how this reaction takes place with mechanism. Here we go. Mechanism of Hans Dyser reaction. This is silver salt of aromatic acid. That is here oxygen is negative and silver atom is positive when it reacts with bromine br2 this oxygen it gives its electron to bromine and this bromine is now leaving group br minus is br minus is leaving group this take place in the solvent xylene or you can also use carbon tetrachloride or xylene now we get a compound like this c double bond o o br now this oxygen and bromine bond it undergoes symmetrical breaking this oxygen and bromine bond undergoes symmetrical breaking and produces the free radicals now we get two free radicals symmetrical breaking it produces the free radical here one electron is on oxygen and another electron is on bromine these are the two free radicals produced by the symmetrical breaking of this intermediate. Now you see this benzene and carbon bond. Now this bond undergoes symmetrical breaking. It breaks symmetrically and we get now benzene free radical this carbon benzene's carbon and this carbon they have undergone the symmetrical breaking and it has produced two free radicals one is benzene free radical another one is oxygen with this electron and the symmetrical breaking of benzene and carbon bond produces two free radicals benzene free radical and this one now this bromine free radical it forms a bond with this electron by sharing its electron so we get bromobenzene and at the same time what happens at the same time these two electrons they form a bond and we get carbon dioxide in this way bromobenzene is formed this bromine free radical it shares its electron with benzene free radical and we get bromobenzene and in this case these two electrons they form a bond and we get carbon dioxide what happens to this silver cation this silver cation combines with bromide ion and it gives agbr ag so in this way in hans dyser reaction 
silver salt of aromatic acid when it is heated with bromine in presence of xylene or carbon tetrachloride we get bromobenzene and carbon dioxide and silver bromide i explain the mechanism once again in the first step the oxygen it donates its electron to bromine and it forms a bond and we get an intermediate like this in next stage homolytic fission of this oxygen and bromine bond is taken place and free radicals are formed here bromine free radical is formed and here this free radical is formed and in next step what happens the benzene and carbon bond it undergoes symmetrical breaking and we get again two free radicals one is benzene free radical and that is second one is coo free radical then the bromine free radical which was formed in earlier step it shares its electron with benzene free radical and it forms a bond with benzene and we get bromobenzene and this carbon dioxide and silver combines with bromine it gives silver bromide this is the mechanism of hans dyser's reaction now we will see the formation of iodobenzene direct iodination of benzene is not possible because the reaction is reversible but if we use oxidizing agents such as lewis acid hno3 etc they react with hydrogen iodide formed during the reaction and they stops the reversible reaction and we can get iodobenzene here we see one example when toluene reacts with iodine in presence of lewis acid such as hno3 that is nitric acid we get two products that is ortho product ortho iodo toluene this is minor product and para iodo product is major product this is ortho iodo toluene and this is para iodo toluene and always you have to remember one thing that para products are major products because due to less steric hindrance if you see the if you see here the ortho position is crowded by the bulky group that is methyl group therefore the substituents they prefer to go to less crowded position that is para position so mostly we get para substituted product as major product plus here we get hydrogen iodide if this hydrogen iodide remains in the reaction the reaction goes in reverse direction resulting in the less amount of product therefore we have to remove this hydrogen iodide this hydrogen iodide is removed by nitric acid when hydrogen iodide is oxidized by nitric acid this oxygen is given by nitric acid we get h2o plus i2 in this way hydrogen iodide is removed in the form of water and iodine therefore forward reaction favors the reaction will not go in backward direction when hydrogen iodide are removed by hno3 that is lewis acid what is the role of lewis acid lewis acid removes the hydrogen iodide and it stops the backward reaction i hope you have enjoyed this video in this video we have discussed about resix process as well as hans dyser's reaction with complete mechanism thank you for watching this video this is avin please like share subscribe my channel i'm thankful to youtube and millions of youtube viewers